All right, Steph, it's race day. How are you feeling? I'm confident and excited. You're confident. Now, we spoke before we turned the cameras on, and you're suggesting that I give you a 10 minute head start. At least. <laughs> now, a 10 minute head start is a long head start, considering it's a pretty short program that we're doing today. It's a 300 meter swim. Yes. It's eight kilometers on our Remfo artificial intelligent bikes and then it's a two kilometer run. So I'm starting behind the eight ball if I need to give you a 10 minute start. So what's the consequence gonna be for the loser of this particular race, Steph? What do you have in mind? Well, look, I think this time round, with Christmas coming up and Christmas charity appeals on, I think the loser should buy a trolley full of toys okay. and we're gonna donate it to a charity nominated by the winner. What do you think about that? I think that sounds fantastic. All right, now I know I've put myself behind the eight ball giving you a 10 minute start on such a short race, but let's go ahead and do it. It's looking pretty good, it's looking pretty good. She's not very fast. <laughs> She's resorting to the breaststroke. So Steph's finished her swim leg and it was rather slow, I'm liking my chances. So I'm going to get going just shortly. I've got much faster repetitions going, so I'm gonna get up. Tell you what, I love the graphics on this program. Normally I'm used to an assault bike, and so you don't get the luxury of any of this. It's actually very comfortable. It's a comfortable ride, I like it. Not so comfortable when you're pushing up hill. <laughs> I'm still miles behind. <laughs> Three k's. <laughs> Three k's left. 300 meters. <laughs> 200 meters to go. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you on the run leg. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'll get up. Don't worry. Still got some power left in this thing. 300. 
minutes to go, I'm almost there. Point it out. Three and a half, four minutes behind I think. I'll get her on the run. that one fair and square. If I had an extra 150 metres, I would have had ya. A win is still a win in my books. Alright, look fair enough. Um, which charity am I contributing to? The charity I've picked is a local charity from the central coast of New South Wales called We Care Connect. They have a Christmas drive coming up so what I want you to do is buy as many toys as you can and we're going to go out and give all the toys to the kids. All right, that actually sounds pretty good. I'll be happy to contribute to that. All right, let's do it. All right, so I lost the bet. It's time to get into the shopping center and buy a trolley full of toys for the kids. Let's go. All right, my trolley is officially full. We're done here. Let's go. That's my trolley load. <laughs> okay, we're driving over to the central coast. We're destined to get to We Care Connect. And let's go ahead and donate those toys that we bought. So we're here with Helen from We Care Connect. Thank you very much for hosting us, Helen. Oh, it's awesome to meet you guys. So there's 10,000 children that live in poverty on the Central Coast, and so we support them in a really practical and tangible way by providing them with pre-loved items like clothing, cots, prams and car seats. Um, that's all generously donated by the community. The reason that we support them is really varied. So it might be children that are living in extreme financial hardship, um, families that are experiencing homelessness, so they might be in a um, temporary accommodation or a shelter um, lots of families where they have been fleeing domestic violence and so in that instance that support can be were told on the day and um, because they've left the house and kind of just fleed with their clothes on their backs and so we want to give them the things that can set them up for the next couple of days and then we'll be able to pro provide them with a bit more um, ongoing support once they're a bit more set up that's fantastic that's a really uh worthwhile cause and we'd like to make a little contribution to you guys today if you don't mind. We've bought some uh, gifts for the children, we've bought some toys and we think it's going to be toys that they'll like to play with. We're hoping it gets them a little bit excited with Christmas coming up. Amazing, yep. So this Christmas we we think that we'll be asked to support around 1,500 children um, and we provide them with um, a large gift, um, some crafts, a, a reading book and then some stocking fillers. Um, so it'll be around 8,500 gifts that we'll be providing to disadvantaged Central Coast kids. So Helen, I want to know if our audience want to get involved and they want to help out and make some donations to We Care Connect, what's the procedure? How do they get involved? Yeah, so the best thing to do is head to our website, which is wecareconnect.org.au. And there you'll see ways that you can either make a financial donation, see the kind of donations that we accept, and they'll find all that information there as well. So wecareconnect.org.au. 
So Steph, how do you feel about the whole experience that we've had? I had an absolute blast. It was so much fun and felt really, really amazing supporting such a great charity, We Care Connect. Yeah, I absolutely loved it myself. I really liked the race. I'm still spewing that I didn't win, but it was a worthwhile cause and I really enjoyed the process. So good one. I do have a question for you. What were your thoughts on the Renfo bike? Um, look, to be honest with you, I really enjoyed riding them. Um, my basis for a comparison is a commercial assault bike and my personal problem is I get really bored on bikes. Having the graphics and the visual stimulation really helped, so I really like that as far as the Renfo bike is concerned. The other thing I really liked about it is it's really comfortable to ride. I thought it was an easier ride, a more comfortable ride than the commercial assault bikes that we have that cost a lot more. In fact, over the next couple of weeks, what I plan to do is replace our commercial assault bikes at the gym with the Renfo bikes. For me, the only downside really is that you need to power these bikes up, so you need to be near an electricity socket. Um, that's pretty much the only place where I think the assault bike has an advantage. But other than that, I really just enjoyed riding the bike. I really enjoyed racing against you. Chasing me down. Trying to chase you down, that was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Renfo has been kind enough to give our viewers a discount code. So if you're looking at buying any Renfo products through their websites, then simply use Coach Ali as your discount code and you're gonna get significant discount whether you're in Australia or overseas. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you share it with your friends and your family so they can check it out too. Stay tuned for some really cool content we've got coming your way.